welterweight division scheduled for three five-minute rounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He is a kickboxer standing six feet tall. Official weight, 169.1 pounds. He has a professional record of six wins, two losses. From Turkey, now fighting out of France. Please welcome Mikhail Leclerjean Bayram. And now welcome his opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner. He is a wrestler standing 5 feet 10 inches tall, official weight 169.7 pounds. He has a professional record of six wins, no losses. From Uzbekistan, now fighting out of Dubai, UAE. Kotam Wakeboy Nazarov. The referee in charge, Dan Benetti. coming out straight at the gate with a lot of pressure not giving Mikhail Bayram any opportunity to escape and he's got the double clasped around the waist Bayram just aware of the ride doesn't want to be taken down again spin around Kotan by Nazarov is just glued to the back of Mikhail Bayram, not giving any space whatsoever, not letting him turn in, just putting in that left shoulder pressure up against the chain link, trying to get the trip. Bayram tries to come around the outside of the octagon to escape, and he's going up high but nowhere near. And Nazarov still with that double clasp. Finally, Bayram's able to turn around and disengage, the high kick blocked as well. Bayram straight on the offense, trying to get the round back. Exactly what he needs to do. Bayram wanted no business being on the bottom against the wrestler. Oh, That's a big shot. Beautiful right shot. Took it well. Got his respect there, didn't he? Again, going for the double. Goes, settles for the single. Nice balance from Bayram. He's got the neck. Good for guillotine. No, it pops, oh, it pops out there, but it was a good way of defending off some good shots from Boy Nazarov in reply. Okay, I'm just trying to use the shoulder strike to see if he can create some space. At the moment, it's Boy Nazarov just trapping the leg between his thighs. 
Behran gets it out now. Some more big shots. Or Nazarov. Pushing Behran back into the turnbuckle. You know, he came in on three weeks' notice, but he's setting a hellacious pace. He's obviously in good shape. Yeah, he's got well, Nazarov's got an absolutely fantastic cardio. It's, it's one of the weapons that he uses. Oh, All big move. Nice knee up the middle from Nazarov. Carl Bayram's corner. Ale Ale trying to get him to get his offense going. He's putting the corners. He's pulling out that right jab though. Oh, big look, big shots. Oh, yeah. Everything's landing on the Shin of Bayram there. Great right from Kotan Bornazarov. Big bowling overhand left from the south ball. I enjoyed that round. Back and forth, wasn't it, lads? But certainly a great display of just good grappling. It was a very spectacular spinning turnaround. You guys saying how unique that was in terms of a takedown. Bornazarov took him down multiple times in the first round. Bayram showed certain urgency to come up, trying to keep the fight on his feet, but he's not being successful at the moment. At the end of the round, we saw Bonazaro throwing hands and he was landing at will. I think the wrestling attack really opened up, the, it brought his hands down a little bit, and that's something that needs to be addressed in round two. Bonazaro taking the, uh, the ground approach between rounds, preferred by some, but he's looking in good shape today. Just towards the end of that round, though, we were talking about great cardio boy Nazarov has and yet he was uh, his mouth guard was showing and he was sucking a lot of oxygen towards the end of that round let's see what he's got but is uh certainly didn't want the stool and just laid flat out on the canvas meanwhile mccall byram's coming out to the center of the octagon referee damn mob ahead telling him to move back it looks like the french based turk is willing to start getting that one round back That right jab before Nazarov. Bayram starting to try and cut the angles off. Oh, a shot, but too far out. Very easily stuffed in the car, Bayram. Now he's coming to hunt. But Nazarov has a nice counter to that, though. Bayram has a habit of when he tries to rush back into the pocket after disengaging, coming in with his hands low, Ollie. Saw a fighter to do that last night. Agree, or is 43, and he got caught, and he gets caught there. Did Bayram again? The takedown stuff. Oh, some nice combinations from Boy Nazarov, and a good knee up the middle as they separate. The aggressive starts around two from Boy Nazarov. Bayram means some knees in the clinch, some shots up close, but still walking forward. The double leg takedown of Bonazaro seems to be a little bit slower than it was in round one. Yeah, he doesn't have the same urgency in his shoots, do, 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 does he? And uh, they've all been stuffed by Bayram in the second round. That being said, the offensive output still goes with Bonazaro for this round as well. At the moment, Mikhail Bayram's pressure is not really paying off. That was nice of time. And this is not exactly what we're going to be here. Hugo, you were talking about in that first round. Uh, Mikhail Bayram didn't really want anything to do with the ground game of Kurtan Bonazarov, and here he is on the back attack. He's looking for the hooks now, as opposed to just controlling them down to the floor. Trying to get the back control. Bad position here for the shots. Nice big right from Bonazarov. Letting go at the moment. My right knee. Yeah, I'm trying to see if we can spin around. Nice Nazarov again, not letting go whatsoever. Bayram goes for another ride. He's starting to get ragdolled down to the ground every time he gets back up, and that's going to suck your cardio. Big ground pound. Underneath, oh, he's nice eating some shots. of them. 
It looks like Beiran's just being manhandled by the wrestling style of Benazarov. Yeah, Benazarov creating a lot of problems oh, for Beiran. A little wobble from Beiran. He's, he's, he's not looking too good at the moment. He needs to push out of it, throw some for his own shots. There you go. He's got a decent left, bit of head movement, but he needs to get away from the fence because Benazarov starting to tee off. Byron looks and gets out. Another yeah, left a, hook. An exhausting style of fight. <laughs> nice take down. He's mounted now in a seated position is Bayram. He's given up his back. Well, Nazarov can flat him in out here, but meanwhile, he's just winging in the shots from the side. Got to be careful about giving up his neck, but he's got it. He's in. It's in deep, the rear naked choke. That'll be, that'll be that. Boy, Nazarov's looking yeah, good, and Bayram tacks. I think that was an offering. He's tired and uh, suffering. You think he wanted a way out there? Uh, I don't want to say that. I wouldn't say it about another warrior. But I think his, his, his body was struggling uh, and uh, he wasn't adapting to the fight very well. It's just so much effort to get up every time you get taken down with the guy pounding on you. So that took a lot of his energy and eventually he had no answer for the powerful wrestling ability. It's so difficult to deal with these super high level wrestlers. He's Physically and mentally draining. Yeah, you're just expending so much energy getting back up to his feet. And as soon as you get there, you know, you, the, your opponent's not letting up the clasp or the seatbelt and just taking you back down every time. And that just drains your gas tank so badly. But it was, again, in terms of the, the stand-up, you know, it was Boy Nazarov had the better of the exchanges. So every time he was able to get back to his feet, Bayram started eating shots and hooks, went back down, pity pat with the ground and pound. A nice mixture of game plan from the Uzbekistani coach and Boy Nazarov. Nazarov kept on, kept on taking him down and at some point just started like throwing the shots. So uh, Bayram kept just gassing the whole time. Ended up taking a lot of his energy. But Nazarov did a good job. He got a submission towards the end. I think we have a good prospect on our hands here, this guy. I look, look forward to seeing him back on the full camp. And poor Nazarov there just paying respects to Kassan Majlimov from the TK family in Dubai. Yeah, he's a very interesting fighter. Unfortunately, he passed away last year. But yeah, it's great to have that show of respect from the TK team. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Wobahedi stops this bout at three minutes, 30 seconds of round number two. For your winner by tap out due to a rear naked choke, Kotam White Wolf Boy Nazarov. To present the award, his CEO and General Manager of UAE Warriors, Fouad Darwish.